Thanks for tuning in at Brackies. Hello everyone and welcome to this Photoshop tutorial. Today we are going to be taking a look at pixel art. So configuring Photoshop to easily create uh, pixel art, configuring a grid, all that kind of neat stuff. Um, not so much in the drawing technique, but more in how to actually make pixel art in Photoshop. And uh, we're going to be making a small coin. And the reason why I'm suddenly making Photoshop tutorials is because Unity, the game making tool, is soon coming up with some awesome 2D features. And so I thought I would prepare you guys on how to create 2D assets for when I'm going to start making tutorials for the 2D games. So that's going to be really awesome, but this can also be used for many other things. Great, so let's open up Photoshop. And first off, let's go ahead and make a new document. So go to File, New, or press Ctrl N. We're going to rename this to Coin. And go to Custom. Set the width to 20 pixels, the height to 20 pixels. The resolution is fine at 72. And the rest we are just going to ignore. So let's hit, let's hit OK. And zoom a bit in on the white background here. And uh, you know, whenever you, Photoshop makes a background for us, it's locked, meaning that we cannot edit it. So uh, to unlock this layer, we can go over here on the right hand side, where it says background and double click it. And now we get to give it a name, let's just call it BG and hit OK. So now we can actually edit this layer. Now let's set up uh, Photoshop so we can make our pixel art. First off, what we are going to be using are three basic tools. The first of which is the pen tool. You get this by going over here on the left hand side to where the brush tool is, holding down on it and selecting the pencil. Now, uh, it's very important that you use the pencil tool and not the brush tool or we will not get the pixel effect. Then go up here, make sure the size is set to one pixel and the hardness is set to 100. What we also need to do is go onto the eraser when we need to erase things, select that and go up here where it says brush and set the mode to pencil instead. So this will make sure that we um, erase with a hard pencil. And again, set the size of this to one and the hardness to 100. So now you can see we get this pixel. And uh, the last thing is, of course, the, um, the paint bucket tool, which we can just leave as is. Great. So uh, basically what we're going to do now is we're going to set up a grid so we can see what pixels we can paint on. So go to view, show, and make sure that grid is selected. But we will also need to change the way the grid is set up because right now it's drawing a grid that is the size of the screen and we want to uh, we wanted to draw a grid with the size of one pixel so let's go to edit preferences guides grids and slices and here we can set the grid line to be every pixel and then make sure it's one to one and uh, now it should be work working. So if we select our brush tool and start painting, you can see that it paints onto each of these pixels. So we have an idea of where to paint. And of course you can enable and disable this by going to view, show, grid. Great, so now that we have gotten this far, we need to do one more adjustment. And that is going to edit, preferences, general, and up here where it says image interpolation, we need to change this to nearest neighbor. This means that Photoshop will make sure that when we have hard edges, it won't blur them to make them look a higher resolution. We want that pixely harsh edge uh, type look. So let's select nearest neighbor and finally hit OK and we can start painting. So let's just go to the bucket tool or select it with uh, the G key change the color in the right hand side to something more neutral like gray just so we have something more neutral to paint on then make a new layer down here in the right hand side create a new layer and select the pencil tool or again press b and the color we are going to be going after is something orange yellowish 
So a pretty saturated color, something like this. And now we can simply start painting away. So I'm going to make a square here. I'm going to paint onto that, whoops, like this. Just keep on painting. And we might make it even larger here. And then I'm just going to round it off a bit to make it look more like a coin. So go like this and like this. And let's see if we can get this to look just right. And it's starting to shape up and I think this is pretty great. So, okay, so now it's looking like a round shape, but to make it look a little more uh, three dimensional, I know you really can't when it's pixel art, but let's make it look a little more three dimensional. Um, go select a little brighter of a, a yellow color, not so saturated. And let's make just a square of uh, three pixels or four pixels here to give it that glowy kind of look. So we, we have some light actually shining upon it. Uh, now I actually want to disable the grid lines to see how this looks. So go to view, show grid and select off. And this is looking pretty great already. What we can do now is we can double click it, uh, the layer here, to bring up all of the layer styles. And in here we can add very simple effects, uh, such as a glow effect, uh, which is really great. So let's go down here to outer glow and hit the check mark and select it. And uh, first off, we have a bunch of settings, but here go to the color. And let's just use the color picker tool to make it as uh, the same as the coin itself. So just press the coin and hit OK. And now we can adjust the size of this just to how we want it. I think that there looks pretty great. Somewhere around there. There. And then bring down the opacity because we don't want it to be that much of an effect to so something like 60. And hit OK. And we can zoom out and see how our creation looks so far. I think it looks pretty great. Uh, so what we can do now is we can trim. Uh, we can trim this window so that we won't get all of this gray space. So we are going to first off rene rename this to coin. And then we are going to disable the BG layer. Go to uh, edit, no image, trim. And then select transparent pixels and select OK. And now the image has been trimmed to uh, the pixels drawn. So we won't get all of this empty space. Now we can turn back on the BG and see how it looks. Uh, fairly simple texture, but it's going to do fine uh, when we import it into Unity. Um, so what we can do now is we can again disable the BG layer. Go to File, Save As. Let's just save it on the desktop. And as a PNG, so select PNG and just hit save. And now we have created our first pixel art sprite. So we can see it here. We can double click it to open it up in Windows Photo Viewer. And uh, there we have it. So it's ready for importing into a game or using in some concept art, whatever you want to do. Okay, so that's pretty much the ending of this video. To so those of you interested in the new 2D tutorials, just hang around for a second because I have some exciting news to uh, share. Right now on your screen, you should be seeing my Twitter uh, account. So please write to me at Bracky's Tweet. If you make something cool in pixel art and want it featured in the game I'm going to be making. Because if you make something cool, uh, you have a chance to be uh, included in the two-dimensional assets pack. I'm going to make a 2D assets pack with all of the different cool things you can use in your game. So other people can download it and use it in their games. And uh, also I'm, I might use it in the video. So please send me stuff and there's a chance you might get featured that way. Of course you will be credited uh, by, by a mention or, or something. So great, looking forward to what you guys are going to be creating using this method. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.